Hey everybody, I hope you're doing really awesome today. Today I'm going to be showing you a video tutorial on how to install Starfield Script Extender on Nexus. If you don't know what Starfield Script Extender is, it's similar to SKSE, which is for Skyrim or F4SE for Fallout 4. It's a tool that's usually used for adding more functionalities to games, and it's something that's needed for a lot of mods to work properly. So I'm going to show you how to install it. Just a little heads up, if you are someone who uses Vortex, this does have an option to install it on Vortex. So if you're not someone who wants to do it manually, there's an option to do it automatically. Another heads up, the description of this mod also says that they support this mod for the Steam version of Starfield, but not for the Game Pass or Windows version. That's something I can't really change, so I'm sorry if you were wanting this for Game Pass, so this is just for the Steam users. After installing this mod, you're going to have to launch Starfield via this script extender. It'll have an exe file in it, and you have to launch it from there from now on. I'll show you how to have a little shortcut so it's a little easier so you don't have to search through every single time you want to play Starfield. So we're going to get right into the video. So this is the mod. Um, what you're Going to want to do is you're going to want to go to files and you're going to want to download the mod manually after that you're going to want to navigate to your starfield on your steam right click it and go to manage and press browse local files it'll bring you to your starfield directory root file directory once you're here you're going to get your mod that you just downloaded if you don't know what this program is this is winrar i've had a few people ask me what this program is it's winrar.com i can put it in the description below it's a free program to download you're going to need it for a lot of um, mods you'll need this it's a very vital so if you don't have that, go ahead and download that really quickly. So after that, you're going to open up the mod folder and you're going to see four or five things. You're going to have these two text files. You're going to ignore those. Um, you're going to have an exe file, a DLL file, and an SRC file. Ignore the SRC file. That's usually for programmers to use. So you're going to pay attention to the .dll file and the .exe file. You're going to drag and drop these two files and you're going to put them right into here, into your Steam Starfield directory. Do not put this in the data folder. Do not open your data folder. Just drag and drop them right into here. Okay. Okay. After that, you'll find them right here. There they both are. So after that, you're going to want to load up your Vortex if you do use Vortex. This will be like a quick little shortcut that you can use to launch Starfield via S SFSE. I keep wanting to say SKSE. And I'll show you another method to make another shortcut if you want that one instead. So for some people, this might already be enabled automatically, but for some, it might not. What you're going to want to do is you want to find your tools right here, which will be in your dashboard. Just go to your dashboard and Starfield Script Extender will be here. You're going to want to click the these three little dots and set it as your primary. So whenever you press play on the top left here for Vortex, it'll launch SFSE instead. So the other method for making this a shortcut on Steam instead is it's going to be a separate game. It'll look like this, but it'll when you press play, it'll go through to like load SFSE and then it'll just launch Starfield instead. So your achievements and stuff will still work. So don't be worried about that. So what you want to do is you want to go up to the top left and press games and press add a non Steam game to my library. After you're there, you're going to want to press browse on the bottom left and it should automatically open up Starfield. Maybe it won't. If it doesn't, you're just going to have to find it, the starfield.exe file. For me, it's in my C drive, and then it might be Steam Apps Common, and then find Starfield, just like this. And then Starfield's here, and once that's opened up, you're going to want to find the SFSE loader.exe. Press that, and it's going to make a whole new program for you. So you're going to press add... add <laughs> you're going to press add selected programs, and once that's done, it should add it here. And then when you press play, You'll see how it does that and then it'll load up Starfield and it has one of them or two of them running and now one of them. And now your game will launch like normal. You just got to make sure you launch that one first instead of the normal Starfield. And that's it. I really hope this helps you a lot. I'm sorry if I wasn't like super energetic. I'm very, very tired tonight. Let me know if you need any help in any other mods. I can do my best to make a video tutorial of them. There was someone that requested a tutorial for, I think it was a mod called Less Spongy Enemies. I looked at it and it looks super confusing. So I'm going to have to do my best to make a tutorial about that one and how to install it properly. So I don't know when the video will be up, but it might be up maybe later this week. But let me know if you need any other help with other mods and I'll do my best to help. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.